a response from, from the congregation. Good evening, brothers and sisters. That sounds much more like it. And welcome to this evening's, what's the name? Can you tell me the name of the, the crusade? For such a time as this. And the evangelist, she is here in Antigua for such a time like this. And you are here, right here, for such a time as this. Amen. Amen. So we just want to bid you welcome. And we pray that as the word goes forth this evening, that it will find a lodgment in your heart. And it will be a life-changing experience for you this evening. Shall we stand for opening prayer? Good night, everyone, once again. It's time for our praise and worship song service section. We're going to turn to our old hymnal, number 677. Master, the tempest is raging. The billows are tossing high. The sky is o'ershadowed with blackness. No shelter or help is nigh. The tempest is raging, the billows are tossing high. The sky is all shadowed with blackness, no shelter or hell is. Carest thou not that we perish? How canst thou lie asleep when each moment so gladly is threatening? A grave in the angry deep. Lift your voices, the winds. The winds and the waves shall obey my will. Peace be still, peace be still. Whether the wrath of the storm to see, or demons or men or whatever it be, no water can swallow the ship.
terror is over. Master, the terror is the element sweetly rest. A sun in the calm lake is mirrored, and heavens within thy breast. Linger, O oh blessed Redeemer, leave me alone no more. And with joy I shall make the blessed harbor, and rest on that blissful shore. One more time, the winds and the waves, the winds and the waves shall obey my will. Peace be still. I will sing of Jesus' love, sing of him who first loved me, for he left bright worlds above and died on Calvary. I will sing of Jesus' love, sing of him who first loved me. For him I've done nothing good for him I've done how could he such love be so God I own my heart is one help me now my love to show I will sing I will sing of Jesus love and let's praise my heart shall give of that love we can be free from the burden of sin would you be free from the burden of sin number 294 294 there's power in the blood wonder working power would you be free burden of sin there is power in the blood power in the blood would you evil a victory win there is wonderful power sing there is power there is power power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb there is power power wonder working power just blood would you be free from would you be free from your passion and pride there is power in the blood Power in the blood, come for a cleansing to Calvary's side. There is wonderful power in the sing. There is power, 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 wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power. Would you do 
do service for Jesus your King. Would you do service for Jesus your King? Power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily his praises to sing? There is wonderful power in the sing. There is power, 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 wonder working power. the chorus again there is power power there is power power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb there is power power wonder working power precious blood of the lamb There is power in the blood. Do you believe it? There is wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. We're having some wonderful time out here night after night. And last night we had a wonderful night. And that topic, what was last night's topic? Do you remember last night's topic? Last evening's topic? The forecast. And what a mighty sermon that was. But, but I, I, I just can't wait for this evening. I just can't wait for this evening. Who can tell us the topic for this evening's sermon? Anybody? I'm hearing something. I'm hearing scale. Come again. No, no, no. The scales of justice. The scales of justice. And a, and a scale, it weighs, right? Weighs in the balance. And there's justice. I believe in justice, you know, Elder. I believe in justice. And so I can't wait to hear what the evangelist has to say this evening because it's going to be coming from the word of God, and we are Bible-based believing church. If it's in the word, we want it. If it's not in the word, then we don't want it. Right. And so, tonight's promotion. You want to tell us about tonight's promotion? Yes, you can tell us about tonight's promotion. Who remember what it is? Right, the oldest Bible. The oldest Bible. Don't wave your iPad. Don't wave your Kindle. Don't wave your phones. The Bible. The, right? the printed. The printed. The hard copy. Right? The printed one. The printed the one. So let me see. If you think, if you think you have the oldest, not the oldest looking Bible. We want to see the date. The date's supposed to be in the year. Okay. Bring you know. Bible I believe I would have had the oldest Bible because that was given to me since I was in primary school, but I would have been eliminated as the host. Let me see. My Bible is five days old. Yes, old. Five days old. Okay. Five days, okay. Five days old. Let me see your Bible. Let me see your Bible. I'm not seeing... In the date. <laughs> I've not seen the date, but we know for sure that it is not five days old. Anybody who thinks that they have an older Bible, come young man, come, come, come stand, come stand, face the congregation, face the congregation with your Bible. Anybody else with a Bible? Okay. Oh, she has a Bible. Come, come. Okay. 
Wednesday, the 11th of October, 2006. 2006. So this certainly is the oldest Bible. All right? And so, ushers, ushers. And so, you'll be getting a brand new Bible. And a champagne. And a champagne. Wow. Yeah. Um, let's, 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 let's make it, you hear champagne, but um, let's, it is 100% non-alcoholic, sparkling grape raspberry right so it is non-alcoholic here you go all right by the way who can tell us what tomorrow night's topic is tomorrow night's topic who can tell us what it is going once going twice and so tomorrow night's topic is how to live your best life and I want to know how to live my best life because I plan on living long. But I want to know how to live my best life. And so come tomorrow evening. Come tomorrow evening. Amen. And you will learn just how to live your best life. Good night, church. God is an awesome God. Amen. Amen. And tonight, we know that our Lord is a God of judgment and love justice right yes but tonight i want to sing about god's special love amen? amen i want to sing about god's special love and the preacher will preach about god's justice so i hope your hearts will be blessed tonight I really hate to bother you, but Lord, got a whole lot on my mind. I know I am unworthy, but I promise, take much of your time. But Lord, I need a little grace to help me make it through. And Lord, I need to feel that kind of love that only comes from you. If you just squeeze my hand and let me feel you by my side. You said you never, never leave me. And that you always be my guide. Sometimes the storms of life, sometimes won't let the sunshine through and 
Lord, I need to feel that kind of love that only comes from you. And Lord, I need to feel that kind of love that only comes from you. And as a child, I heard the preacher say that you were a sinner's friend. Oh, I remember when I came to you with a heart, a heart so black with sin. And all the night you turned my life around, it seemed you made you Will the ushers please take the places? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we tarry at your footstool a little longer. But Father, as we tarry, we come with our offering. We pray, dear Lord, that you may bless the offering for the furtherance of your work. But bless us, we do pray, in Jesus' name. Awesome, he can move mountains. 
Keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. God is awesome. He went broken now broken and here i am weak i've been weak forever he will reign awesome my god is awesome he can move mountains keep me in the valley hide me from the rain awesome my god is awesome heals me when i'm broken strength where i've been weak Forever he will sing, my God is awesome. It's awesome. 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 Again, God is awesome. It's awesome. Sing awesome. 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 My God. Savior of the whole world. It's awesome, Savior of the whole world. Give us salvation by His stripes. I am healed. My God is awesome. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. His holy name. My God is awesome. Awesome, sing on. One more time. Awesome. I got is awesome. Test one, one, one. All right, remain standing as we take our Bibles in hands everywhere. Our Bibles, let me see the Bibles. Excellent, excellent, excellent. More Bibles are coming out every night. Excellent, excellent. All right, so let's lift our Bibles in hands and repeat after me. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. we are in your presence. We are in your, presence. your word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word this evening. Speak to somebody here. Let your word be clear. Be seen, Lord. Be heard. Hide me behind thy cross. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated everywhere. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Turn to someone next to you, on the side of you, be in front of you, behind you, and welcome them here this evening. Just a walk. I'm happy to see you. Thanks for that beautiful song. Someone said it's popular, but it's not one that I am familiar with. But it was beautiful. Let me ask my, one of my ushers to get a gift on my um, desk there. It's a nice gift. You should be able to, to pick it out <laughs> for my TikToker. She's here this evening. I promised you a gift, and I keep my promises. So come forward as the usher gives you a token for, you know, sharing Jesus in your area. We want to continue to encourage you, and thank you again for coming. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much in your ministry. Amen. All right. So welcome to all our members. Let me see all our members. Amen. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me see all the visitors. 
Welcome, 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 welcome. Let me see all those who are 18 and under. I've seen some people trying to pop their hand. Watch them now. <laughs> Excellent, <laughs> my good friends in the back. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you all so much for making the effort to come out this evening. God bless you all. Remember, tomorrow is white night, all right? So you can wear white, off-white, ivory, anything in that category, okay? And come prepared to be crowned the best dressed, all right? Best dressed female, best dressed male, best dressed teenager, whoever is the best dressed in white, we will recognize you tomorrow evening. We encourage you to continue to pray 6, 12, and 6. Our visitor who has never missed a night, that is a Sunita, right? A Sunita? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Welcome. So, I hear the oldest Bible was when? 2000 or something? 2006? Well, it couldn't do better than that. <laughs> eh? Well, it couldn't do better than that, man. Yeah. I was looking for, I told her to bring something from quite 1956. <laughs> was that one 2006? Well, I had to do better than that. Yeah. But little one, Thank you for participating. Pastor Walker, welcome. <laughs> All the pastors in the house, welcome this evening. So I trust you had a good day. And those of you who didn't have a good day, I trust you had a great day. Yes? <laughs> Amen. Because like I said, in Antigua, there are only two types of days I understand, Sister Walker. Good days and great days. Yes? <laughs> so I'm happy that you could either have one or the other. There are no bad days in Antigua. Elections are over? No. The voting is over. That's right. right. So we are waiting the results. But until then, let us focus on the message. Is that Amen. all right? Amen. All right. When you all go home, all I can log in and deal with that. But for now, let's focus on the message. Turn off the phones and the notifications. Don't let nobody be saying, you know, this is what happening now and this is what happening now to this church here, right? <laughs> Let's focus on the message. Let's give God this, this time, this moment in time. And uh, as I told you before, time invested in heaven is never time wasted. Amen. Amen. My reader is here this evening. But Amen. I can. Amen. Welcome. This evening, what's the, what's the message? Scales of justice. The scales of justice. Have you ever been to a courtroom? Yes. yes. For some of you who have been there, then you know in a courtroom, not anything goes, yes? That's right. You can't dress any kind of how. No. Mm -hmm. Permit me to just put in a plug here, but why do we think we could dress any kind of how when we come into the house of God? Mm. <laughs> I'm always intrigued as to how people know what is good dress code when they go to court? Hmm. But it's a problem to figure it out when they come to the house of God. Well. I'm always intrigued. I don't have to tell my clients twice. Remember, you're going to court. Hmm. And trust me, they will not come with a spaghetti strap. Hmm. They will not come in a mini skirt. Hmm. They will not come in a short pants. They will not come in a tear of jeans. But yet, coming to the house of God, yeah, I could dress anyhow, mm. take me as I am. Mm. But when we come to the house of God, we are standing before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That's right. And therefore, our dress code for church must be even better than our dress code for court. Amen. Am I right? Am I speaking the truth? Amen. When we think about the word judgment, our mind usually goes to the courthouse. Yes? Correct. We often think about judgment in terms of punishment. Mm -hmm. The courtroom is our best attempt on earth at fairness. Hmm. I hear clients say all the time, I want my day in court. Well. You tell them, why not try mediation? No, I want my day in court. Mm. not try conciliation. No, I want my day in court. <laughs> and sometimes when they get their day in court, 
Well, they don't like the judgment. Not at all. Not at all. So now they wanted to appeal. Yes. They didn't have money to pay in the first place, but now they want to appeal. <laughs> But it is where the accused is, you know, at least given an edge. It's an edge, I mean, when the judgment is about to be read. That's right. The teeth start to, like if they're in the cold weather. <laughs> Even us as attorneys, we become apprehensive. Mm -hmm. What will the verdict I know you know about popular judges like Judge Judy, uh huh? Yes. And what about Judge Joe Brown? Yes. Yes, they have made their name on television That's as right. two of the most popular judges. Hmm. They both command their courtrooms. Many people like it because it shows drama. <laughs> and then they think that is how the courtroom is. Many people watch Law and Order yeah. and think that is how the court <laughs> hmm. But can I tell you that despite the best efforts of the judicial system across the world, miscarriages of justice happen? Yes, that's correct, preacher. Sometimes the wrong people are punished and sometimes criminals are acquitted. That is true. I've heard... Some litigants complain about paying attorneys and not getting service. Mm -hmm. I've heard people complain about matters taking too long <laughs> in the judicial system. That's right. I've heard people complain about not getting justice. Mm -hmm. Justice delayed is justice denied is a legal maxim we've all come to know. It means that if legal redress or equitable relief to an injured party is available, but is not, not forthcoming in a timely fashion, it is effectively the same thing as having no remedy at all. That's right. But this evening I wish to speak to you about another judgment well. where no earthly judge presides, Come on where neither Judge Judy or Judge Joe Brown Come has on. any jurisdiction. Well... Can I tell you that in this justice system, the scales of justice will always be fair? Amen. Talk about it now. In fact, this judgment happens in heaven. Where? In heaven. In the Bible, the process of deciding what will happen to us after life here on earth is referred to as the judgment. Amen. The judgment became necessary. What did I say it became? Necessary. After the first sin of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. As part of the plan of salvation. That's right. You see, humanity demonstrated, Pastor Challenger, their weaknesses against temptation to sin. God had to step in to allow us a way to be redeemed. That's right. And that would be through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You recall that I told you that God told Adam and Eve in Genesis 2, 17, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt what? Surely die. But the devil told them that what God's saying is not true. That's right. You shall not surely die. Mm. And I told you before that they followed what the devil said. Mm -hmm. Read all about it in Genesis chapter 3. God warned the perfect pair, yet they chose the devil's words over God's words. That's right. Doesn't that sound familiar today? Yes. How many people in our world choose the devil's word over God's word? Mm -hmm. The sad reality, friends, is that many people today are still listening to the devil over God. Well, well. They listen more to worldly songs than they do gospel music. Am I speaking the truth? That's correct. We spend hours watching Lifetime and soap operas and, and sports for the guys. 
movie binging, they call it. Binging. Mm -hmm. For hours. And yet we find it hard to stay awake for a 45 minute sermon. So true. So. If you can't say amen, say ouch. Ouch. <laughs> you tell them a gospel concert. Just bring a donation. They won't come. But if you tell them we have an all-inclusive effect, $500, they don't mind. Uh, well. It's all packed out. Hmm. You tell them, come go to a crusade. They prefer to go behind their party. Mm -hmm. I know I'm touching a chord here. Well, well. <laughs> but unless we deal with that, my friends, Come we are on. spinning top. That's in right. Model. That's right. Seek ye first, first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. Amen. We Amen. say it, but we don't live it. Come on now. We tell our children, it's a good, it's a good text. Seek ye first. The kingdom mm -hmm. of God is righteous and all these things shall be added unto you. You hear me what I tell you? Yes. But we teach them something else when instead of bringing them to crusade, we send them to classes. Mm -hmm. Because to pass the common entrance is more important than to pass the judgment test in heaven. Well. Hmm. We, we, we don't mind missing crusade because we have a class to attend. Because worldly gain is more important than spiritual matters. Well. Can I tell you? Tell it. Please. I did not miss a Sunday night, Wednesday night, or Sabbath because of an exam. Well. My mother would not allow it. Seek ye first, she said. Mm. The kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Amen. I was sick in England studying law. Mm. When I recovered, a friend told me you can study on Sabbath. To catch back up. God will understand. Mm. But I thank God for my mother's training. Amen. I said, no, my dear. Amen. God will not understand. Prove me now. Right. I have six days. Mm. One additional day will not make a difference. Can I tell you? I wrote those exams sick. I missed classes. I was still sick when the first of the results came out. Yeah. I got up long enough to go on the computer to see the exam results. Mm. When I saw it, I myself was baffled at God's love. Well. At God's mercy. At God's faithfulness. Every time I talk about it, I feel to cry. Amen. Because sister, I got on my knees and I cried in thanksgiving. Amen. What a God. An amazing God. Amazing when God. When you are faithful to God. He is faithful to you. Amen, preacher. Amen. Over and over. Parents, adults, when we say these things, Matthew 6, 33, and we quote it, but we don't live it, we come across as hypocrites. Yeah. As double standard to our children and to our neighbors. Amen. We must live what we preach. Practice what you preach. Let your audio match your visual. Amen. Amen. God came looking after, looking for Adam and Eve after they ate the fruit. In his love and his compassion. Mm hmm he did not mete out the immediate punishment of death. But he told them in Genesis 3.15, and I will put what? 
enmity between thee and the woman, yes. and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Judgment required that the perfect pair be put to death immediately. Mm -hmm. But mercy, Praise mercy, God. Praise God. and love. Hallelujah. Amen. God gave them time. Time to populate the earth. Mm -hmm. Time to fully conceptualize and understand the extent of their sin. Time to fully appreciate his love and his mercy. Can I tell you that it was right there in the garden that God instituted the perfect substitutionary sacrificial system? To redeem mankind and to still demonstrate that God is love. Praise the Lord. Genesis 3, 1, 3, 21 rather records that God made coats of skin and clothed the pair. That's right. And in no sense animal had to die because of man's sin. Mm -hmm. After Adam and Eve were banished from the garden, they had to continue the ritual of animal sacrifice to atone for sin. Mm. This continued throughout the ages in informal and formal systems. But years later, Jesus went to Calvary in total and ultimate fulfillment of the sacrificial system. Hallelujah. What does 1 Peter 2.24 say, reader? Amen. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness. By whose stripes ye were healed. Hallelujah. Let's also look at 2 Corinthians 5.21. What does the word of God say? For he hath made him to be sin, sin for, for us. us who, who knew, knew no us, sin. That, that we might be. Made the righteousness of God in him. What does John 3.16-18 tell us? Together. For, for God, God so loved, loved the, the world, world that, that he did he, what? Gave he his gave only him. begotten son. Yes. That whosoever believeth in him yes. should not perish, yes. but have everlasting life. Uh -huh. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, yes. but that the world through him might be saved. Yes. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, yes. because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Could I tell you, my friend, mm -hmm. it's God's love that have us here today Praise still. Praise the Lord. He could have destroyed this earth many, yeah. many moons ago. Mm -hmm. But because of his love towards us, because he loves you, because he loves me, he still has us here today so we can have an opportunity to say yes Hallelujah. To Praise the Lord. Matthew 27, 50 to 54 tells us, Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And what happened, reader? And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake. Yes. And the rocks rent. And the graves were opened. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose. And came out of the graves after his resurrection. And went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, yes. they feared greatly, Say saying, what? truly, this was the Son of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. When Jesus died, the veil of the temple tore in two from the top to the bottom, yes. indicating that no man did it. It came from divine authority. Hallelujah. It marked the end of the sacrificial system. Yes. No more was man required to bring any lamb or bullock or, or turtle dove. Verses 52 to 53 gives us a sample, a foreshadow, a guarantee, if you please, of the resurrection of the righteous when Jesus comes again. Hallelujah. Yes, my friends. God does the judgment in order to honor our freedom of choice. choice. By examining our hearts, setting apart those who chose him, from those who do not. 
the judgment called the investigative judgment or the first part of the judgment happens before the second coming of Christ. Yes. But you may ask this evening, preacher, who will be judged? I don't want to be judged. I don't want no part in this. Could I tell you that you have no choice in the matter? That's right. 2 Corinthians 5.10 tells us that what? For, uh -huh. we, shall For we must all appear before uh -huh. the judgment seat How of many Christ. of us? All. How many of us? All. All must appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Then Romans 14, 12 tells us, so then Judge. every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Amen. In other words, I cannot stand for my husband, nor can he stand for me. No. He must stand on his own two feet and I must stand on my own two feet. Amen. That's correct, preacher. Romans 3, 23 tells us for how many have sinned? All have sinned and, and come, come short, short of, of the, the glory, glory of, of God. God. And since all have sinned, then all must be judged. judged. Ecclesiastes 3, 17 tells us what, reader? And I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous shall and judge the, the, who? the righteous yes. and the wicked. Uh -huh. For there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. So in other words, whether you think you are righteous or you think you are wicked, you will still be judged, Pastor Walker. Am That's I right? That's the word. That's the word of the Lord. First, first Peter 4, 17 adds, for the time has come that judgment must begin must at, begin where at the house of god and if it first begin at us what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of god judgment must begin at the house of god none of us shall escape none from the pulpit to the pew that's right all shall be judged amen Many a times we come to church looking all dandy in our beautiful hats and our high heel shoes. Well, many of us come to church looking all dandy with our bow ties yes. and our slim fit pants. Well, but behind closet doors. Can we invite Jesus in that closet? Well. Are you hiding the pornography book in your Bible so that your mother wouldn't see it? Well. Friends, it's a serious business. Yes. Judgment is serious business. And that's why all the evidence must come before God. There will be full disclosure. Mm -hmm. Nothing you do is hidden from God. Not a thing, preacher. What standards does God use to judge us? Mm -hmm. The law of God is the standard by which the characters and the lives of men will be tested in the judgment. Amen. Says the wise man in Ecclesiastes 12, 13, and 14. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into in judgment. judgment. Why, does the, why does God use his, his law as a standard? Because it is universal. Mm -hmm. Everybody have access to it. Right there in his word. It is universal as one plus one equal two. Whether in Spanish or English or Korean. It's the same thing. One plus one equal two. It is universal. Yes. What goes up must come down. It is universal. Yes. God's law is universal. Down. All will be judged by one rule. That's right. In other words, right now, as you go from place to place, Antigua may have a different law. 
Barbuda might have a different law. Mm. Trinidad will have something else. You go to the states, you have to adjust. But when it comes to God, there is one rule of thumb, the word of God. Amen. So whether you live in Antigua and Barbuda, Trinidad and Tobago, the United States of America, or Japan, we will all be judged by the same measurement. Yes, preacher. That's the word, preacher. One law, preacher. One law. One. So that's why it is always going to be fear. Mm -hmm. Come on now. No one can say, well, I now move here, so I didn't know. Well. I didn't know. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Mm -hmm. There are essentially three stages of God's judgment. How many did I say? Three. I told you before that the investigative judgment, which is the first phase of the judgment, must take place before Jesus comes. Amen. This is to determine who will be saved and who will be lost. That means that records are being taken when? No. Petitions are being drafted when? No. Arguments and counter arguments are being heard when? No. In other words, your no determines your future. That's right. How you live your dash will determine your test. That's right. The choices you make in life, even this evening, will determine your final destination. Correct, preacher. Malachi 3.16 tells us that a book of remembrance is written before God in which are recorded the good deeds of men, mm -hmm. of them that fear the Lord and thought upon his, upon his name. That's right. You know, God is so fair. The book of remembrance records Good deeds. Yeah. You help the lady cross the street. Praise God. God records that. Amen. You brought someone to the crusade. God records that. That's right. You attended when you were invited. God records that. Every act of sacrifice you made. God records it. Every suffering and sorrow you have endured for the cause of Christ. God records it. That's right. Every temptation you resisted, every evil you over overcame, God records it. Amen. But could I also tell you, there's another record of the sins of men. Well. Ecclesiastes 12, 14 says, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be bad or oh, evil. Evil. In other words, every idle word spoken is recorded. That's right. Mm. Have mercy on us. Yet idleness prevails. God records the secret purposes and motives of our hearts that nobody else can see. That's right. Every man's work passes in review before God and is registered for faithfulness mm -hmm. or unfaithfulness. That's correct. Opposite each name in the books of heaven is entered, listen to this, with terrible exactness. Mm -hmm. Every wrong word, every selfish act, every unfulfilled duty, every secret sin, and every artful dissembling. Heaven sent warnings or reproofs neglected. Wasted moments. Mm. Unimproved opportunities. Yes. The influence is exerted for good or for evil. With its far-reaching results. All are chronicled by the recording angel. That's right. And can I tell you that unlike those who take record in the courts. Mm. Who can make an error because they are human. Heavenly angels makes no mistake. Well, perfect record. Perfect record. Mm -hmm. 
1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17 says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. In order for God to know the dead in Christ who shall rise first, the investigative judgment must have been completed. That's right. In order for God to know those who are alive and remain as righteous who will be caught up together in the air, the investigative judgment must have been completed. That's right. Those who die without Christ will wait in the grave for 1,000 years, during which time the millennial judgment or the second phase of the judgment will take place. Amen. I told you this is a solemn message. It is. Revelation 21 to, 1 to 6. What does the word of God say? Read with the reader. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Yes. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. Uh -huh. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. Yes. And I saw thrones uh -huh. and they sat upon them yes. and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Hallelujah. But the rest of the dead Praise lived God. not again until the thousand years were finished. Ouch. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. On such? The second death had no power. Yes. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Hallelujah. Glory be Glory to, God. to God. Amen. During this 1,000 year vocation in heaven, which is called the millennial judgment, the saved will have the privilege. The great opportunity to be part of the judgment. Amen. I heard prominent preachers say that there will be three surprises in heaven. <laughs> the first one will be that you are there. Well. I am there. Mm. The second one will be that persons we expected to be there are not there. Mm -hmm. The third surprise will be that persons we expected not to be there, well. they are actually there. Well. How do we reconcile that in our minds? First Corinthians six twenty three says, "Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? Do you not know that we shall judge angels, friends? The saints will have the privilege to peruse the records of heaven." That's right. We will see for ourselves why Sister X made it and why Brother Y did not make it. We will see for ourselves that Brother Y was probably thiefing something on the side. Well, dig in deep, preacher. Go right. But in the end, what will come through in brilliant colors is that God is fear. God is just. Amen. Amen. Just and true are your ways, O King of the saints. Amen. This is what we shall show. Mm -hmm. After the 1,000 years, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the host of the angels, the saved throughout the ages, mm -hmm. who will descend with the holy city. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Mm. God will resurrect the dead wicked that we read about in Revelation 20 verse 5 mm -hmm. to witness the splendor of the city as it descends 
to have a conscious viewing of what they have missed out on. Because of their life's choices, then the devil, having not changed, yeah. but having been chained mm -hmm. for 1,000 years, will again raise his ugly head and in one final attempt to destroy God and his people, he shall marshal the forces of all the evil ones to overtake the city. Yeah. This should tell you, my friends, that when we die, we do not change. They went down wicked, they come back up wicked. That's correct. Seeing the city coming down from heaven doesn't change them. How you live is how you die. And how you die is how you resurrect. Amen. Amen. Can I encourage you this evening to live for Christ? Yes. So that you can die in Christ if it so comes to that. Amen. And if you die in Christ, you have the blessed assurance of the first resurrection. Glory, glory be to God. Amen. And to that I say glory to God. Glory. Amen. Revelation 27 to 8. What does the word of God say, reader? And when the thousand years are expired. What does Satan do? Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Yes. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. Gog and Magog. To gather them together to battle. The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. That's a wow. lot of people that will a be lost. A lot of people, preacher. Just make sure that you my, are not my. numbered among that sand. Amen. That's right. That are lost. That's right. Hmm. What happens next? What does verses 9 to 10 tell us? And they went up on the breath of the earth. Yes. And compassed the city, uh, compassed the camp of the saints about. Yes. And the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night, forever and forever. My friends, this is the third and final phase of the judgment, mm -hmm. known as the executive judgment. Matthew 25, 41 will come into effect. Then shall he also say unto them on the left hand, Depart. From me, he cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. My friends, since hell's fire is prepared for the devil and its angels, it has no place for you to be. No, no, not at all. Many ask, how can a loving God send men, women, and children to hell? Hmm. Can I tell you? Tell us, preacher. That he doesn't send them there. Amen. They choose it for themselves. Amen. Amen. To be different. Amen. Yes, God is love. Hmm. Yes, God is holy. God is perfect. God is long-suffering. God wants to save everybody. God is merciful. Yes. God is forgiving. Yes. But God is also just. Yes, he God is. also hates sin. Yes. While he loves the sinner, he calls. No. Because we have a capable attorney. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John 5 22 tells us that Natasha Allen shall represent you. Amen. No. You all do have that in your Bible? Okay, let's read that again. What does John 5 22 tell us, reader? For the Father judgeth no man. But had committed all judgment unto the Son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John 2 1 tells us that anyone sins, we have an advocate with, with the, the Father, Father Jesus, Jesus Christ the, the righteous. Right. Amen. Psalm 96 13 tells us, For the Lord is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. truth. Our attorney. Come on. Jesus Christ. Yes. Can I tell you that he has an impeccable track record. Talk about he it. has never lost a matter. And he wants to fight your case. He wants to fight my case. Hallelujah. 
Yeah. And can I tell you he's doing it pro bono? Amen. Free, free. Free! Free. All to Jesus I surrender. Hallelujah. All to him I freely give. Yeah. I will never love and trust him in his presence daily live. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus picks. Yes. How? Oh. And your name is called mm. to verdict against your name. Mm -hmm. How shall you stand? Yes. In that great day. That's the question. Let it not be said of you. Mm. To what weighed in the balances. And I found. I found what? How shall we stand? The judgment will be unfavorable. For those who do not turn from their wicked ways. Yes. From those, for those who do not confess their sins. Mm. But for those who accept Jesus as their personal Lord and Hallelujah. Savior. For those who believe. For those who are baptized. For those who endure to the end. The judgment will be favorable. Glory. Hallelujah. The scales of justice. Yes. Will shift in your favor. Hallelujah. Could I hear some shout Hallelujah of amen in this the house? Of God. Shout of Hallelujah. justice. Glory. Glory when the righteous judge put down his gavel and he calls my name, he calls your name. Yes. May it be covered under the blood. Hallelujah. Covered under the blood. Hallelujah. Covered. Covered. Hallelujah. Under the blood. Amen. Jesus took my place. Oh, amen. On Calvary's cross. Yes, he did. Jesus took your place. Yes. On Calvary's cross. Yes. So that you do not have to face hell's fire. No. He went to hell and back already for you. Thank you, Jesus. He was spat upon. Yes. He was beaten. Mm. A crown of thorn was thrust on his head. My, my. My, my. He was ridiculed. Oh, yes. He was corn. Mm. He fell on the weight of the cross as he came up to Calvary. My, 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 my. While he first, mm. he asked for water, they gave him vinegar. Oh, my, 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 my. They pierced his two hands yes. with pig nails and his two feet against the rugged cross. Yes. My, my. And while he faced all of that, mm. in his love, Come on. he said, Father, Come on, my. forgive them. Forgive them. For they know not what they do. Hallelujah. To the what love of a loving God. Hallelujah. That Friday evening, they placed him in the tomb. Yes. And the devil... The entire one third that he had pulled from the beginning. Mm. He sent them by that tomb and he told them, you have one assignment for this weekend. <laughs> Keep him in the tomb. Well, well. Sabbath, he laid there. Mm -hmm. Keeping the Sabbath. Mm. But the devil thought, we got him now. But early Sunday morning. Come on now. Come on. Come Jesus, on. thy father calleth yes. thee. And Jesus arose in splendor. Hallelujah. And can I tell you that because of his death, because of his resurrection, I have hope. Hallelujah and to so the Lord. So do of God. you. Hallelujah to death the Lord. Death did not hold him. No. Death will not hold me either. Never. Death will not hold you oh. once you are wrapped up and tied up in Jesus. Amen. Up from the grave. Oh, oh. The question Hallelujah. is, how shall you stand? Come on now. In that great day. In that great day. After he has made all this sacrifice mm -hmm. for you, all he asks of you Come and love me in return. Yes. 
Come, believe in me. Yes. Come and be baptized. That's right. And allow me to guide you. That's right. <laughs> turn, preacher, turn. That's right. The judgment has set. The books. The books have been opened. Come on. How? How shall you stand? Yes. In that great day. Shall. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. The judgment has set. The books have been opened. How shall we stand in that great day? to say I want my sins to be washed away young man young woman I want you to come to this altar let us all stand wherever we are stand wherever we are and I want to invite you to this altar perhaps you've already given your name for baptism you have made up your mind it is clear in your heart I want to walk with Jesus all the way to baptism. Why not come closer to this altar? Thank you, young man. Thank you, young man. God bless you. Thank you, my young friend. God bless you. Thank you, young man. God bless you. God for young people. The Bible says that a little child shall be God bless you. God bless you. I want to speak to members this evening. Yes, your name is here on the record, but you know to yourself when you peruse your own life that you are not living in accordance to God's will. And you want to make a fresh commitment to him. You want to recommit and rededicate your life to him? Why not come to this altar? Why not parents bring your children if they are not yet baptized? Secure them for time and for eternity. Bring your children if they are not yet baptized. You do not want to go to heaven and leave your children here. Sister Sunita, you've been here for the, from the beginning. I want to make a special appeal to you tonight. I know you feel the pleading of the Holy Spirit on your heart. Tonight, I want to ask you to come to this altar. Come by this altar. We can speak even afterwards, but come by this altar, even if it is for special prayer. You've been here night after night. You've heard the word of God. I want you to make a decision to follow Jesus all the way. How sad would it be to be here from day one and still miss out on that glorious kingdom? 
Sing that verse again. How shall we stand? How As shall you think about your life. we stand in that great day? How shall we stand you know the song in singing? that great day? Shall we Thank be you, found before? been hearing night after night you want to make a commitment to God why not type your name and your numbers in the chat and somebody will reach out to you and make one more appeal to this audience teenagers come by this altar parents bring your children husbands bring your wives what God asked me to do. Said, no, Thank you for coming. God records how shall even we this. Stand how shall we stand? In that it will be for naught that you go to heaven and leave your child, your grandchild behind. I know you wouldn't like that. Bible workers, evangelists, come closer. Support someone by this altar this evening. And I want to do something special this evening. I want to do something special this evening. Well, I'll, I'll call Pastor Walker. He came by this night. Come by here, Pastor Walker. But even now, just Turn to someone next to you. And even if it's the praying groups of threes, pray. Pray while this song is being played quietly in the background. Pray with each other. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray. Somebody, hold somebody's hand. There's a young man here by himself. Hold somebody close to you and pray. Pray for somebody. Pray for somebody. Pray for somebody. Hold somebody's hand. Pray for somebody. And then I'll ask Pastor Walker to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
as we wrap up those prayers and we get ready for our final prayer by Pastor Walker. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy upon us, O oh God. Yes. According to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercy, Hallelujah. blot out our transgressions. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, we plead your blood over every soul standing in the sanctuary. Yes. We know we have a high priest Hallelujah. in the heavenly Hallelujah. sanctuary Thank who you, makes Jesus. intercessions for us yes. with groanings mm. that cannot be uttered. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for being our judge. <laughs> we thank you for being our lawyer. We thank you for the assurance of salvation yes. that you have given us that we can stand boldly before thy mercy seat. Hallelujah. Oh God, thank you for speaking to our hearts through your servant. Yes. We pray that you will re-preach this message in our minds over and over again that we will understand that every word we speak mm. every action is recorded in heaven mm. so help us by your grace oh god to live lives according to your precepts and according to your principles Hallelujah. tonight father we thank you for the soul that have been snatched Hallelujah. from the hands thank of you, the Jesus. enemy we pray oh god that you would write their names in the Lamb's book of life. Yes. We pray, God, that you would cover their nakedness yes. and cover them with your righteous robe. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that you would keep them under your fold. I pray, yes. God, that you would give them strength and wisdom to live for you and to walk with you. I pray, God, that they would walk with you all the way into the watery grave of baptism yes. that their sins will be washed away yes. and they will rise to walk with you in newness of life. Oh God, there might be somebody else in this sanctuary. They're struggling, Lord. Somebody in Jennings free so that they can surrender their hearts completely to you Hallelujah. in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray tonight yes. that angels that excel in strength will walk through every corner of Jennings, touch every house, every home, every heart, and help them to understand that the time is now. Father, we're praying tonight you, Jesus. that this church will never be the same again. Yes, Lord. Please, that after Lord. this week, we will be refreshed. Yes. We will be revived. Yes. We will be restored. Yes. We will be reconnected yes. to our Heavenly Father. Yes. We pray tonight that this Sabbath will be a great baptism that yes. individuals that we didn't think of will walk into this sanctuary and they will give their hearts to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We hallelujah. pray tonight, Father, for those who are watching online. Yes. They may be wondering what next and how can they stand in the judgment. Help them to understand with Jesus on their side, they are free and they will be free indeed. Yes. So we thank you for covering us tonight. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the assurance of salvation you, that you, once we would have accepted you, once we would have given our hearts completely to you, that we can stand boldly yes. on that day in the judgment, knowing that our sins will be totally washed away. Hallelujah. May you bless your servant and her husband. 
the Bible workers, the minister, pastor, challenger, and the entire, this team, we pray your abundant blessing on those who have come, our visitors, and those who have Thank said yes you, and made it to this altar. Help them to go all the way with Jesus. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get me behind. Victory today is mine. Those of you who have decided to go the way, just meet with my husband, meet with the pastor before you go. Joy the young man, the young lady, be with my husband or past the challenger before I you go on me. Satan, get me behind. Joy today is mine. Healing is mine. Healing is mine. Healing today is mine. I told Satan, get me behind. Healing today. God bless you, everybody. See you tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. As they continue to sing and we continue to rejoice. Joy today is mine. I told Satan, get behind. Joy today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Even today is mine. I told Satan. Lost in sin.